In this video, I'm going to cover how to import families into Revit. So what we have on my screen now uh, is a project that we're working on in class. That's uh, kind of, I guess, a, a barn dominium or a shop home. So what we have for a layout is on the left-hand side. Uh, this would be like a garage area. So we're planning on putting two garage doors, like a drive-through shop area. And on the right-hand side, uh, you have a like a single-family dwelling, uh, so you have a small little house there. So there's a few uh, items that I want to locate inside of my drawing that I don't have loaded in Revit and they're not available uh, in my loaded families that I have. Right. So a couple of those things are is uh, windows, doors and some fixtures. So I'm going to cover how to import those into our project now. So the first thing that I want is right now in, in the back side of the house, like where the living area is, I have these double doors here and they're just a generic double door. But there's a specific door that I have in mind that I want to place in there. And it's an Anderson door. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try to locate a family for that specific Anderson door. So I'm going to fire up the Google machine. And I'm just going to type in Anderson Windows. And we'll go to their official site here. And a lot of times when you look at like a larger uh, manufacturer like Anderson or you know marvin or you know any other door or window company a lot of times they'll have a certain section of their website specifically for engineers architects and um, contractors and that's what we're looking for so right here on the top right i see that they have a four pros site so we're going to go ahead and click on that see where it brings us and look right down here it says architectural files cad bim and csi so um you know bim files are what we're after uh, since revit is a bim program and if I scroll down here, it looks like they have everything broken down into series or you know, different series or different types of windows or families of run windows that they have, which is awesome. And if I was curious of what like an E series is versus a you know A series, I'd go into their product information and kind of dig that out. But there's a, there's a very specific door that I'm looking for, and it's a uh, Prima Shield gliding patio door. So if I go down, I think let's see, there it is right there, the Prima Shield. Perma Shield gliding patio door, all right? So it gives me some basic information on it. And of course we can see all our, our, our icons here to help us you know, kind of guide us in the way. And I know that I'm looking for a Revit file and there is the Revit icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And it's going to download into my downloads. So let's show this, let's bring it on over. And I'm going to extract my zip file. Just dump it right in there. And if I open up my file, there are my RFA documents for my, my families. All right, so now how do I get those into Revit? So let me go back to Revit. And since it's going to be a door, I'm gonna click in my architecture tab. I'm going to go to my build palette and click on door. And it's still not in there, right? Because I have to tell it to go into my families. So now while I'm in the door, still in the door, I'm going to go up here to load family. And I'm going to find where I put it right in my documents. And let's see what's the difference here. So a double and a single. Let's do a double. So go ahead and open that. And here's all the information that's going to get loaded in with that family, right? So even though we have, I selected one door, they make different sizes of the doors, right? So you know, within a certain family or within, within a certain grouping, you may have multiple options in here. We have different widths, heights, and, and you know, different, different styles of that same series of door. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and load all those in. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And you'll see here that we're going from Revit 2014 to Revit 2021. Remember Revit is not backwards compatible. Um, so we have to be careful when we're saving. And right here, it automatically defaulted right to the family that I just loaded in. So I'm gonna pull this down and you'll see that I have my Gliding Anderson Permashield double door. All right, so I'm gonna click on that. And just as normal, I'd find a wall to put it in. Actually, you know, let's get rid of this, this door first. And let's put in the one we just downloaded. Okay, so there's our gliding door. We just brought in that new family. The great thing about this, especially when you get families from manufacturers, is when you do your, your schedules, or in this case, your windows and door tags, I love the information that's pertinent to that uh, manufacturer will follow along in your schedules, which is pretty nice, all right? So let's look at uh, garage doors, okay? So 
Um, let me go back over to doors and scroll down and I see that I have this this cool play door here, which I, I downloaded that earlier, but it's really not what I wanted. All right, this is more of a uh, commercial style door. I'm looking for something a little more energy efficient. All right, so let's go through the same process. So I'm going to go back to Google and I'm going to look up a clue, pay garage doors, and I'm just going to type in Revit, see what I get. All right, the first result is overhead commercial doors of BIM files. Perfect. Good is what I'm looking for. So let me scroll down here, and I am looking for the Energy Series. There it is, the Energy Series with IntelliCore. Um, just a little, little more energy efficient door compared to you know, the previous models I had loaded in. So whenever um, I load in garage doors, just kind of a little side quest here, I like to make sure that um, I have all of the, if it's, if it's an option, have all of the framing and, you know, if there's garage door openers or, or whatever it may be. I like to have that as part of my models because this reminds me, hey, you better leave some clearance for that door. Last thing we want is to put an overhead door and then have like a pendant light, you know, hanging off the ceiling and we take it off with the door. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this complete door here. And it looks like it saved it right as an RFA document. So I'm going to go back to Revit and I'm still in my doors. I'm going to go load family. Go back a folder to my downloads and there it is. Can open. It's taking it from Revit 2011 to Revit 2021. Five minutes later. Okay, that took a moment to load in. So now if I go back into my uh, architecture doors, and you'll see that I have my 3723 ADV, whatever that happens to mean, uh, ready to go. So now if I mouse over my walls, I have these large doors. Let's see, let's just pop one right here. And we'll put another one right here. Of course, change the direction of that. And this is why I like loading in garage doors with the tracks installed. You'll see how much real estate these actually take up, right? So we can, we can always hide that if, if need be. All right, so we loaded in uh, Anderson sliding doors. We also loaded in some Clo play garage doors. But let's say that we have uh, I don't know, a specific uh, plumbing fixture that we wanted to install. Now, this is something we haven't done yet in class, and that's use different systems. We've been mainly dealing in the architectural systems. So to place things such as uh, fixtures for toilets or sinks or any type of plumbing fixture, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our systems tab. And we have a couple different palettes to select from. We have HVAC, my personal favorite. We have uh, fabrication, PNID, uh, mechanical equipment, and then plumbing. All right. And as part of the plumbing, we have plumbing fixtures. So I'm going to go ahead and, and let me just keep on going through here. We have electrical, um, and then you know the, the typical stuff that you see in, in all the different uh, all the ribbons. Okay. So we're going to stick with a plumbing fixture. All right. So we're going to like head and click on plumbing fixture, and let's see what we have loaded in here. So we have a shower base, uh, some sinks, some simple sinks, looks like a little domestic toilet, right? But again, there's a very specific toilet that I want to use, um, you know, using, using the stock features in here. They're great for placeholders, but if we're actually doing a full out design, we should be specifying exactly what we want to use with regard to fixtures and, and finishes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is once again, fire up the Google machine and I'm going to look for uh, a Kohler toilet, K-O-H-L-E-R. So the toilet, let's go rub it. Let's see what pops up. So it looks like Kohler actually has their own design studio, which is very cool. Just looking at that, kohler.smartbim.com. Let's check that out. All right, so again, this looks like another one of those uh, pro sites as opposed to a consumer site, which is exactly what we're looking for. And it looks like here for product information, five fine BIM and CAD symbols. So that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to click on that. And oh, this is awesome. This is, this is a great way to sort things out here. So category, let's show more and let's try to find a toilet, 297 toilets. There's a design for everybody. All right, so let's take a look at, I don't know, let's just pick. Let's just go with this this one right here, this, this Wyndham Comfort Height. Okay, and then look in here, there's different uh, downloads that I can get. And again, I'm looking for that RFA, that is our uh, Revit file. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna download Toilet Luxury Height. Okay, so let's go to, again, 
systems, plumbing fixture, load family, and look for a toilet, a luxury height. Open that up. It's going to convert over. That was much faster than the garage door, thankfully. And it gives me a couple different options. All right, so those options are uh, the different colors. So almond, biscuit, or white. And I'm going to click on the white one. And actually, you know, before I do that, I want to kind of label which, which uh, where my uh, bathroom is going to be. So I'm going to go back up to architecture, and I'm just going to throw a room. Let's say that this is going to be my, uh, my bathroom right there. Okay, let's get in. Let's get into good practices here. So we go to back to systems, go back to plumbing fixtures. And I'm already there. Okay. And I'm going to place that. It doesn't look like it wants to place anywhere. Let's just drop. Let's snap to this wall and see what happens. So we got a warning. So none of these created elements are visible in the floor plan. Okay. That means that something, the way that our, our family came in, isn't kind of true to the same plane that, that we're modeling it. What I mean by that? Now, if I were to go to a 3D view, I'm willing to bet that we're going to find the toilet floating somewhere and probably some weird orientation. So let me go to 3D. Well, there's my toilet hanging there. Let's see. Well, there's my toilet and it's inverted, right? It looks like it's actually going through my floor too. Yeah, that's not good. That's not how we want a toilet. That's that's just not going to work for us. Okay. So this is uh, one of the downsides of, of Revit families is um, there really is not much of a standard for you know what plane they design their um, uh, their products on, right? Because if, you know if I, if I want this, obviously I want the bottom of the toilet to be on my floor. Okay, so we can fix this. It's not that big of a deal. So to do that, first I'm going to get rid of this toilet. All right, that's that's the wrong way to pop that in there for this particular family. I'm going to go back to my first floor plan, and I'm going to do the same stuff just to go back to my toilet. So I'm going to go to systems. Plumbing and piping, plumbing fixtures. I already have my toilet selected. Now, instead of just trying to dump it in there somewhere like we're used to, uh, I'm going to look at these placement options up here. Okay, so we have uh, place on a face, uh, place on a vertical face, or place on a work plane. So I'm going to try putting it on a work plane. Select that, and my placement plane is on the first floor, which is right where I want. And now you'll see that if I do this right, let's just drop that in there. Yes, looks like we actually have a toilet hanging out in there. I'm going to go to my 3D view to check just to make sure we're not floating in the middle of the air somewhere. And there's our toilet. And just as one last sanity check, I'm going to go back into my first floor. I'm going to cut a section right through my bathroom here. Oops. Like that. And let's go to my section. And just comes up as a box. Well, we can, we can fix that pretty easily. If we come down here uh, to our detail level, right now we're in course. Let's take that and bring it to fine. And there's our toilet. Okay, now another cool thing about these toilets, especially, you know, or pretty much almost all plumbing fixtures. I'm gonna go back to my plan view. And if I double click it, you'll see that I have different options, right? This says in and out. So with a toilet, we have to have water coming in and the nasty water coming out right so um these rabbit families actually have some intelligence that tell us okay you need to bring a three eighths inch water line into the toilet and it has a three inch um closet flange size to go out, out into the waste so um whenever you see items like this like the ins and the outs and those when we do more systems like mechanical systems and more plumbing systems and actually do plumbing design um you'll see how much th these are real true time savers and life savers um, because you don't have to do a crazy look and it's just some metals. But I digress. So uh, that was just a quick and easy way of how to show you how to bring in uh, some various families into Revit. Uh, the process is exactly the same for pretty much every single family in Revit.